Where to? Don't suppose you know the way to a sustainable energy future, do you? Sustainable energy. Okay, let's go. Tell me, do you uh, believe in aliens? Aliens? Imagine there really are little green men up there. Observing us. Been watching us since the dawn of time. At first we seemed harmless enough as we dragged our knuckles across the savannah, playing with our fiddly tools, inventing the wheel. They probably found us quite entertaining, intelligent even. But the smarter we got, well, we didn't seem quite so harmless. As far as the aliens are concerned, we're a bit too haphazard. They'd love to invite us up to the intergalactic party, but they're worried we'd leave the lights on. That sort of thing. We need to get better at seeing the bigger picture. We need to face the energy challenge. Ah, the energy challenge. Will we be able to produce enough of the stuff? When we do get on with each other, we get on... Well, very well indeed, if you take my meaning. In fact, so well that by 2050, there'll be at least 9 billion of us. And all over the world, more of us than ever will have cars, holidays, and those nifty little nose trimmer things. You got one of those? Yeah, yeah, it is, you will get older. So the challenge is how to make it all add up. If you look at the possibilities, anything could happen, of course. But looking at the likely ones, there's a couple of scenarios definitely worth checking out. One is that we scramble like demented badgers over resources, each to his own, pretending everything is business as usual. But surely governments will take the necessary... You'd think so, wouldn't you? But with all that pressure to get enough energy, they might well just prioritise the day-to-day, -day, putting off the big decisions so we end up lurching from one crisis to another. Supply for fuel gets short, Prices go up again and again. Big shock. So we focus on producing more energy. Forgetting all that climate change. Then surprise, surprise, something happens to the climate. Thunder, lightning, another big shock. Scramble will be a constant game of catch-up. Till we're so far off the intergalactic party circuit, we'd be lucky to get invited for leftovers. So why don't we go that way? Blueprints. That's a good point. There is another option where we work together as a team. People all over the world start taking action, making proposals, sharing ideas, taking the future into their own hands. They get the governments to change laws, think up new blueprints for sustainable living, get things really sorted. Energy conservation, carbon management, they're locked. It's all about staying ahead of the game. Won't be easy, mind. We'll need to pull together like never before. That way, we can work in harmony with the planet and, here's the clever bit, continue to profit and grow. We smarten ourselves up and get ourselves an invitation to that interplanetary party. Lovely. Here we are, sir. That will be £12.50. Here you go. Thank you. Right. Which way next? Oh, cheerio. This little film was made by Shell. Believe it or not, Shell is not run by aliens. Find out more about the future of energy at shell.com forward slash scenarios.